Welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today is the seventh Sunday of Easter, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 17, verses 20 through 26. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Graciously hear our supplications, O Lord, so that we, who believe that the Savior of the human race is with you in your glory, may experience, as he promised, until the end of the world, his abiding presence among us, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage proclaimed by Michael Toole. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, I pray not only for them, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one. As you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me, and I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one, as we are one. I in them and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me, and that you loved them even as you loved me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am they also may be with me that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known, that the love with which you loved me may be in them, and I in them. In today's Gospel reading according to St. John, Jesus now prays for all those who, through the influence of disciples before us, come to believe in Christ as Lord. Each one of us is among those Jesus is praying for here. This is the final part of Jesus' prayer during his discourse to his disciples at the Last Supper. In this prayer, Jesus prays above all for unity among his disciples as the most effective sign of his witness. By this, we'll all know that you are my disciples, that you have love for one another, he had told his disciples earlier on in the discourse. He now prays that we may display the same unity among ourselves and with Jesus as that which binds Jesus and the Father. It is through the love that Christians, coming as they do, from so many ethnic groups and all classes of people show for each other that they give the most effective witness to the message of Christ. May they be so completely one that the world will realize that it was you who sent me, Jesus taught us. It is said that in the early church, people marveled. They would say, see those Christians, how they love each other. In a world divided along so many lines, people were amazed to see Jews and Greeks, men and women, slaves and free men, rich and poor, sharing a common community life in love and forgiveness and mutual support. It clearly would lead people to ask, what is the secret of this group? Is that the witness that we are giving today? What do people see when they look at our parishes? What do they see when they look at our families? What are they to think of the painful divisions of so many groups who claim Jesus as their Lord? How can we maintain such divisions in the face of these words of Jesus? Obviously, we all have much to think and pray about regarding our spiritual life and the impact we make in drawing people to Christ, 
and that includes bringing back many who have left in confusion and disillusionment. So let us make our own the last words of Jesus prayer today. I have made your name known to others and will continue to make it known so that the love with which you have loved me may be in them. Amen. Heavenly Father, may your love be within us just as it was in Jesus. And may that same love go forth to all people that we meet. After our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage and contemplate the message. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you, either through a verse or even just a word that touches you, and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to Him. And let us pray. Hear us, O God our Savior, and grant us confidence that through contemplating and embracing your sacred word, there will be accomplished in the body of the whole church what has already come to pass in Christ, her head, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you, and may his blessings fill your day with joy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.